Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you an all new feature that just rolled out in a Chrome extension called Moat that allows you to record right in your Google Slides. So you can use this as a teacher or as a student. The thing that you'll need to do first is go ahead and get the Chrome extension called Moat. It looks just like this. You can get it from the Chrome Web Store. This is a product that has been developed for education, so you can read over their privacy policy, but I feel safe in recommending it. I've been very impressed by their work so far. Before I jump into how to use it in Google Slides, I will say that this does have a freemium model. So while some things are free, it gets more awesome if you have a paid subscription and they do have something starting at $19 per year. So as you can see, if you're using free, you're gonna be limited to 30 seconds of a voice recording. If you pay, then you get 90 seconds. So that's one of the differences. Let me get to the good stuff. How does this actually work? Once you install the Moat Chrome extension, you get this little icon when you go to your Google Slides. And if I click it, that's all I do. I then click to start my recording. Welcome, this is my demo video. That's it. It just takes a couple of seconds. You can preview it. Welcome, this is my demo video. When you're ready to insert it, you press insert. If it wasn't good, you could delete it and try again. Then it inserts this little audio. I am just going to go ahead and move that up to the top left corner because that's where I want it to be. And if you click on the audio icon, something that you can do here is you can change the audio playback to start playing automatically. And this can be nice if your students go into presentation mode, then it will automatically start playing as soon as they click on the next slide. You can also adjust the volume here. I'm leaving it at the absolute max. I don't recommend hiding the icon because it's nice for students to be able to still control the playback. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. Let me go to the next slide and let me do one more audio. So let's go ahead, do the same thing. And here's the first slide. I will be explaining to you how this lesson works. All right, I'm gonna insert it. And I'm going to put it in the same place. I really like putting all the play icons in the same place so students know where it is. So you can choose where that space is. And you can resize this. If you think that icon is too small, you can make it larger, just like that. You can even recolor it if you're not digging the color of it, it's just like that. So you'll find all that by, again, if you click on the actual icon, then it will pull up these format options in your Google Slides. And I want this one to also play automatically. So what happens is when I go to the first slide and I press present. Welcome, this is my demo video. You can see that it played automatically. If I need to replay that, I can click on the icon. Welcome, this is my demo video. And that was why I was recommending not to hide that icon because it's nice to be able to go back if you would like to replay it. And then when I go to the next slide. And here's the first slide. I will be explaining to you how this lesson works. You can again see that it automatically plays because in those options that pulled up when I clicked on the audio, when I went to auto playback, I chose automatically and that's why it auto played. Anyway, that's all I got for now. This is again using Moat in Google Slides. I have another video on using Moat in Google Docs. If you're interested in that, I'll leave the video in the description box. That will be it for now. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.